Hello! In this video we're going to be talking everything moods. Fantastic! This list of settings here, these presets that start elements and stop elements and set the volumes they play. Awesome! If I play Peaceful Morning, certain elements start and they're playing samples every now and then and set to a certain volume. I want to modify this somehow. Remember clicking these little tabs up here shows and hides the different columns. I'm going to fold out the mood inspect here and I'm going to change the name of Peaceful Morning to Less Peaceful Morning. Because why? Because that's all very well, but maybe there's a building collapsing. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Not so loud maybe. And the men are all screaming. And the women are all screaming. And it's all very sad. Excellent. That definitely sounds less peaceful. So I'm going to go save current state. This mood is the mood that has focus. And that's where these settings are going to be saved. The server works away. Note that little blue line. Okay, so if I go to aftermath, which is a different mood. And maybe stop or whatever. And I'm going to go less peaceful morning. Excellent! So it started the building crumbling and the guards crying and the women screaming There's, and all those other background sounds. That's fantastic. That's all working beautifully. I can also save, save current state as a new mood. So maybe <laughs> maybe the building is gone completely and it's collapsed. So I'm actually going to turn off the crumbling building and the women are no longer screaming because they are too busy being brave. I'm going to create a mood. They're sorting out the bandages and the things for the people. So I've got less peaceful morning. <laughs> Excellent. And then building gone. Yep, save that state where the building is no longer crumbling and the women are no longer screaming. Awesome. I can also duplicate this mood so I can make a slight variation of it, say. So I now I have the same mood twice. I'm going to take this mood and I'm going to turn the guards down to like 50%. I'm going to... Uh, building gone and men karma. <laughs> okay. Good. I'm going to save the state of that. Good. So now I have these two moods where the only difference is that the guards are crying softer. Awesome. That worked beautifully. Uh, then one more awesome thing I can do is I can copy the sound set. A sad town is a blank empty sound set that I made before. And I'm going to copy this mood to that sound set. The little blue line works along and let's exit. Go back to the sound set list by this little back button here and go into Sad Town. And that's amazing. This mood, Building Gone and Men Karma, has been copied into this sound set and every single element that was required to play that sound set is now there. That is so amazing. Fantastic. Good. What else do we need to know? Uh, yep, yep. That's that one, that one, that one, that one. Good. The mood element. This is kind of how we can make tiny changes in the quickest way. <laughs> so say uh, the building is gone and I want the men to be crying but not quite so loud. This element has focus. It is set to start with this mood that has focus. It's colored in blue. It's colored in blue and it's set to set at 100. I can just change this value here and now when I start this mood this element will start at that volume or I can mix to the level that sounds satisfying and then sync the target volume and that will change this dial boom, to match what I'm hearing right now. Another th useful thing you can do with this mood element thing is to start a let's say start an element here one of the one shot elements let's say the reason it fell down is because the dragon roared okay so I'm going to set this element which has focus to start with this mood and it's going to start at that volume and I'm going to start the dragon growl as well but not so loud so let's hear that excellent maybe at that volume good so I go to less peaceful morning or maybe stop and watch these watch these two one shot elements excellent they both trigger the guard is crying at this level he set and that's good. Now if you look up here, preparing download for Fantasy Player, that download is being prepared for our offline players and then this sound set, Brown Dragon Swamp Raid, will appear in the offline players just like any other piece of content that you have access to and you can install it. 
Hooray! It means that those custom setups can tra uh, transport themselves all across the internet to all the places you need them to be. Once you've got it installed, then it will run like normal. You don't need the internet. Say I make some change, like say I delete this mood here. Delete. Yes. Then the server will once again prepare a new download. I can then update that content in the offline players by clearing that uh, data in the settings cog or by running the update function. Note also that since we only made small changes to moods without changing any of the elements or importing any samples or anything, this is a sound set that actually you don't need to be a current subscriber to have access to as long as I still have access to the Red Dragon City Raid sound set that is this uh, sound set's parent. Since there's only mood changes, I still have access to that uh, as, as long as I have access to that original content. I think that's everything. In the next tutorial, we shall take a deep dive into elements and find out everything about their awesome settings that are there. And uh, yeah, if there's any questions and things I've missed, ask them in the comments and I shall either append something to this video or record a new one, which is even clearer and less confusing. And there's a stop button. Bye-bye. <laughs>